Have you ever wondered how restaurants get their Brussels sprouts to be extra crispy on the outside? Well, I've got some tips and tricks that are gonna show you how to make the crispiest, most flavorful Brussels sprouts roasted in your oven. I'm Whitney from SweetCayenne.com, and once you try these crispy roasted Brussels sprouts with a Parmesan honey glaze, they're gonna be your go-to veggie side dish that you, your family, and friends can't get enough of. You'll need two pounds of small to medium Brussels sprouts. Wash them, then trim off the bottom end and slice them in half. If they're really large, you may want to slice them into quarters. So now that our Brussels sprouts are trimmed and halved, I've got them in a really big bowl and we're going to prep them for the oven. So first of all, you want to use a good amount of olive oil on the sprouts. A couple of tablespoons will be great. So just drizzle that on top. And then we're gonna use some kosher salt and some coarse ground black pepper to flavor them initially. Now we're gonna be adding a nice honey glaze and Parmesan cheese on top, so we'll get lots of flavor, but we want to layer the flavor up. So starting with a base of salt and coarse ground pepper to make sure that they're well seasoned. And then you just want to toss them to coat them evenly with the oil and all the seasonings. You can use a spoon or a spatula for that, but I just like to shake them in this bowl. That's why I use a really big bowl so that there's plenty of room to toss them around in. All right, they look good to go. Okay, so I've got a baking sheet right here that's really hot, and this is actually the secret step to getting the Brussels sprouts extra crispy. While my oven was preheating to 450, I had the baking sheet in there heating along with it. So you could hear the Brussels sprouts are sizzling as soon as they hit the pan. So once you get them on here, you wanna work quickly to turn them cut side down and get them oven in the oven as fast as you can. You want to put them cut side down so that that cut area gets nice and brown and crispy. And then we'll toss them halfway through cooking. We're gonna roast them for 18 to 25 minutes at 450, flipping them halfway through the cooking process. In a small skillet over medium low heat, add two tablespoons of honey. Heat the honey until it starts to bubble up and turns a deeper, golden color and becomes really nice and fragrant. To the honey, you'll want to add two tablespoons of white balsamic vinegar and then half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Stir all of that in and then stir in two tablespoons of butter over low heat. Once it's well incorporated, remove it from the heat and set it aside. All right, so our Brussels sprouts are nice and crispy and tender on the inside because we roasted them at such a high temperature of 450 and then put them on that hot preheated baking sheet. So now it's time to toss them in our honey glaze with all of that delicious red pepper flakes and white balsamic vinegar. So I'm just going to drizzle the glaze right on top of these sprouts. And I love how when the outer layer of the sprouts comes off on the pan and just gets extra crispy. Those are my favorite little portions. And then for my favorite part, lots of freshly grated Parmesan cheese, which will give a nutty, salty flavor and just really make these Brussels sprouts irresistible. Nice, good sprinkling. And then we'll just toss them together and plate them up. This side dish goes so well with all of your favorite entrees. I like to serve it with steak, grilled chicken. Sometimes I'll just use it as a topping in a veggie bowl with quinoa and lots of other roasted vegetables. It's delicious piled high on top of a pizza or with mac and cheese. It just goes with everything. So I like to get a nice serving platter right there and then just pile them high it's also a perfect Thanksgiving side and you know Thanksgiving is just around the corner so if you and your family love Brussels sprouts like I do definitely put these on the menu because as you can see they're really easy to make just loaded with flavor oh my mouth is watering I cannot wait to dig into this I could literally eat this whole platter by myself but of course I'll share with my husband. And 
this is a really easy recipe to double to if you're feeding a crowd you can double it or triple it very easily just use two or three baking sheets whenever you're having a little out and there we go and then I'll garnish it with just a little bit of extra parmesan right on top so that people can see what is in there and that looks great it's ready to serve I can't wait any longer I know I don't have a dinner ready prepared to eat with these but I'm gonna go ahead and dig in yes the flavor is so nutty and you need that the sweetness from the honey and the saltiness from the parmesan you could even add some toasted nuts to these. These are so irresistible. Your family is going to love this easy veggie side dish. And if you're in search of more veggie side dishes, I'll link them for you over here in my side dish playlist. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and comment below to let me know what you'd like me to make next. I'll see you in the next video.